Hello and welcome everyone, Lionheart here, and today we are back with Shogun 2 Total War. It has been about 9 or 10 years since I last played um, base game Shogun 2. I have played some Fall of the Samurai, I think as recently as about 4 years ago, but I haven't returned to base game Shogun 2 for around 10 years or so. I did a Chosakabe campaign, I did a few uh, co-op multiplayer campaigns, and I also attempted a Takeda campaign, which is what we are starting today, a Takeda campaign, because the Takeda campaign that I did about 10 years ago, I lost. I lost on turn 70. I got defeated by the AI. I was playing on hard difficulty. Today, we're going to be playing on very hard, which is what I pretty much play all my Total War campaigns on now. Um, so you might say, why not legendary? I just don't like on legendary that it restricts your camera because I like being able to look around the whole battlefield and things like that and also being able to save whenever I want. Uh, as far as I'm aware, of, though, I don't believe the differences between like the the stat changes to AI and what have you are, are that much different between very hard and legendary, so it should still be pretty tough. Um, so yeah, we'll see if we can do better than uh, 22, 23 year old Lionheart um, 10 years ago, because obviously I'm now 33. So yeah, here we go. In terms of mods, what am I using? We're using the Real Armies uh, mod, which just is a visual tweak to reflect the units in your army when they're not being led by a general. And also we're using the Sengoku campaign texture uh, mod, which just brings in the updated textures from Fall of the Samurai and lighting effects to the base game campaign. Uh, if you're watching this over on YouTube, both of those will be linked in the description. Um, I am streaming this as well at the same time and will continue to do th so throughout the whole series over on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash LionheartX10. So Twitch people, say hi to YouTube people. Those of you watching on YouTube, drop a comment saying hi to your Twitch self. Uh, we'll be streaming this um, probably every Thursday, but I... Possibly for the first couple of weeks, we'll stream it Tuesday and Thursday. What that should essentially mean is that you guys will then get daily uploads here on YouTube of around about an hour long. Uh, first episode going up on the 3rd of January, and you should have, yeah, daily uploads for, uh, well, for the rest of the series. Maybe it'll be like Monday to Saturday rather than have, and have a break on a Sunday. We shall th see how things go. Uh, in terms of my settings, I'll very briefly show you what I'm running on. I'm running at 1080p so that I don't have any UI rescaling problems because normally I would play on 1440p. But otherwise, everything is set up here. Um, something you might be thinking as well with those mods that you mentioned, you're not using anything that changes the gameplay at all. A um, couple of reasons for that. One, again, I haven't played base game Shogun 2 for 10 years. I'm really rusty with it. I'm really unfamiliar. So advice, tips and tactics are greatly appreciated. Drop them in the comment section. Um, so I wanted, I wanted something, you know, that wasn't going to be affected by mods changing up values and features and mechanics. Uh, so I could just experience the, the core base game. And also because I'd already attempted this Takeda campaign, um, 10 years ago, I kind of wanted to try to retry that essentially. So again, the mods that I'm using are visual only. Uh, so there's no difference basically between this campaign and the one I tried 10 years ago. So the Takeda, we're going for long campaign, which will require us to capture and hold 40 provinces. You need to become Shogun by capturing and holding Kyoto. Uh, hold 40 provinces, including Echugo, Hida, Kai, North Shinano, South Shinano, and Kyoto. And we need to complete this by the end of your turn in winter 1600. And we start in the year 1545. They have a hard initial challenge. Uh, we start with one province. We are masters of horses. I know what you're thinking. Rip, Lionheart and Cavalry. Let's see how that goes. Uh, we have improved morale for Cavalry. Uh, reduced recruitment costs and upkeep for all Cavalry. And we can recruit superior Cavalry, which I believe is the like Takeda. Well, I think it's not necessarily... I don't think there's any... I don't, if I'm Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think there's any unique unit that only the Takeda can recruit but what I from what I understand is the Takeda essentially get a specifically named Takeda light cavalry or Takeda fire cavalry meaning that they have a few additional stat modifiers on them um, which make them a little bit more robust than other factions um, yeah very hard difficulty because yeah I don't want to play on legendary we could play with battle realism which will strictly UI and stuff like that but I don't want that I'm very happy on very hard more options we're going to have advisor help on low show CPU moves we'll have battle time limit sets to 60 we won't have drop in battles for this um yeah there we go so let our Takeda adventure begin 15 or 45 this is Sengoku Jidai the age of the country at war. For 200 years, the Ashikaga shoguns have ruled from Kyoto. 
great splendor and power were theirs. Now the overmighty clans no longer obey. The time has come for a new warlord to become Shogun. But who will be victorious? Takeda lands have always provided for our people. Our enemies are many and envious. They threaten our borders and look for any weakness. To be Takeda is to be born in the saddle. We are master horsemen. Our cavalry are town tall. Let others march. We ride. We fly like storms in the mountains. We thunder in battle. Bisha Mountain, the war god, has woken. Now is the time to defeat our enemies. All will bow to the Takeda clan. We wait no longer. Destiny calls. We are the Takeda. Masters of Kai province for centuries, we have always faced aggression from neighboring clans. While we have come to terms with the Imagawa and the Hojo in recent years, the Shinano warlords have been unrelenting in their crusade to seize our lands and crush the clan. Our first priority should be to ensure that an end is put to the Shinano incursions. The Murakami of North Shinano have repeatedly invaded Kai, so bringing them to heel will afford us the chance to build up our military strength. From there, we can proceed into South Shinano, establishing a position at the heart of Honshu, and securing a source of quality stone to supplement our construction and trade efforts. Our relationship with the Imagawa has grown strong in the recent years, and I recommend keeping this as such. The aid would be most welcome should hostilities resume against the Hojo and we expand into the Kanto area. As our clan grows in stature, the Shogun is bound to take action against us. Our proximity to Kyoto makes us a potential threat to the Shogunate, and we must be prepared to withstand his attempts at subjugation. If they do not relent, then we will be forced to take action ourselves for the greater good of Japan. In that event, we must be prepared to fend off all who would attack us, no matter from where that threat emerges. If the Shogun wishes to halt our expansion, let him come here and reckon with us himself. Dun dun dun. I always like the, the flyovers in these older games because they often give you like a... I mean, you, you get it still in the more recent uh, Warhammer titles as well. I always like it when the flyovers give you kind of a good insight into kind of what the recommended expansion is and, and who to keep an eye on and what have you. Especially when it's been 10 years since I played this and, uh, you know, I'm, I'm very rusty and thinking like, where where do I go first? Um, so that that's good. But it was basically saying keep an eye on the that the Imagawa or like keep keep friendly with them because they could help me out with against the Hojo we got our first mission the Shinano warlords or we may well once we may have considered the Murakami allies our prosperity and might has led to conflict between us the Shinano warlords now invade from the north engage their armies so that they may bear witness to the might of the Takeda uh, defeat an army belonging to the following clan and will gain dreaded force instills fear in enemy units reduce morale four seasons remaining all turns cool. If our daimyo is to become shogun, military ruler of all Japan, we must defeat the current shogunate 
the Ashikaga clan, capturing and holding the capital of Kyoto for four seasons. At this point, the Emperor will declare our clan leader, Shogun. We can make a bid for the Shogunate at any time, although the current incumbent may preemptively attack us if we become too powerful. War with the Shogun for either reason may result in other clans declaring war on our own in support of the status quo. That's a that's a realm divide essentially, isn't it? If we if we wait a what if we wait too long, uh, or rather wait until the Shogun kicks off, right? It's if our infamy gets too high, I think. Uh, so if you're asking, is this uh, is this game have uh, match combat animate? It does, yeah. Sync combat animations. Yeah, they're in this game. They're in room two. They were in Attila. Last game that had them was. I mean, I guess the last mainline game was Attila, and then they came back in Thrones of Britannia because that was built off of Attila. Right. There's our starting force. Um, do you, I'm going to take you out into this army, so we'll have you both together to face this first initial force, like we did, because we did a little test video, like a preemptive video, prep video, essentially, where I asked you guys about mod suggestions and things like that, basic tactics, which greatly appreciate all that feedback as well. Um, I'm going to definitely be learning on the go though for sure and obviously looking through the comments of each video for suggestions. What have we got here? Stables. We can upgrade the stronghold. Uh, food. Food, 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 food. Yeah, we need a surplus, don't we? Because if we if we don't have a surplus, how bad's that? I'm assuming pretty bad. So we probably want to get rice paddies. Upgrade to improved irrigation. Encyclopedia just about works. Okay, and then that will enable terraced farming. Ah. Okay, it doesn't like you clicking on stuff. That's now bugged out the encyclopedia. I think. It might work afterwards. Terrace farming. I can't click on it now. No, that's fine. Encyclopedia be buggy. I think it was buggy when it first came out. Uh, balance is for fine. Surplus is positive to town growth. Negative is public order penalties. Okay. Let's have a look at our bits here. So Kai, got production of farms, consumption, castle oppression, resistance to invaders. Next level minus two. Yeah, so I was thinking, one or two of you were saying there is a kind of an export you can do where you um, max out your tax one turn and then the following turn you lower it back down again. I'm not going to be doing that. Um... No exploits here. Tax rate. How do I? I can. Can I do it all here yet? There we go. That's fine. I can see the hits from all that. We can see our trade and taxes. Yeah. A summary of it all. Okay. Right. Well. Yeah. Let's get the rice paddies going for more growth. Uh, trails movement replenishment rate would be nice. Just looking at how much clan treasure I've got. I wouldn't mind recruiting some more units as well. Right. Um, what do we want to recruit more of? I mean, Yari Ashigaru are super powerful and staple early on. Let's get some of them. I feel like I should be getting more cavalry as well. Then we get one at one. There we go. Self-imposed challenge. Always got to be recruiting at least one more unit of cavalry. Um, let's have a quick look at clan management. Have a look at our family. This is my... Well, I've got two brothers. I think they mature at 18, right? So this one is Commissioner for Warfare. And then on a, Yeah, we don't want to be dishonorable. On there are various events where you become dishonorable, and then that's like that's pretty bad, right? And they come of age anywhere between 16 and 19. Oh, okay. I've got my heir there. A Shin a Shinobu. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Right, uh, Master of the Arts, that's tech, isn't it? Yeah. Market, clan -wide, tax rate, or morale. That gets Katana Samurai. That'd probably be useful early on, wouldn't it? Naginata Samurai. I always thought Naginata Samurai looked really cool because of, like, their face mask. Their, like, yeah, face mask or their, their helmet mask they had. And, yeah, we are probably going to adopt gunpowder, I think. I think we are. So, I mean, we'll have to turn to Christianity, right? 
Betraying alliance changes Christianity and looting lowers honor. Okay. When there was a surplus of food translated into growth, one point of growth. Okay. Plans food supply is short. Size of the food shortage is deciding factor in native public order. Okay, yeah, cool. Clan wide happening, that's always good. There was that clan wide, yeah, Zen was pretty good early on. Upkeep cost for all armies and navies, that's also quite nice. Yeah, let's go way of Chi then, economy. So we can make do with Yari and Cav. Right, I'm honestly really nervous for this first battle. Here we go. Ships are routing, they will become shattered, meaning that it will not be possible for them to rally from then on. Okay. Any units or ships that rout following a general's death will automatically become shattered. Oh, that's interesting to know. Cool. Right, they do outnumber us. They have Yari Cav and Yari Samurai and more Yari Ashigaru. I'm going to have to pin them and then flank them with my Light Cav. I'm just thinking how to deal with that Yari Cav. We've got to try and catch it with with my Yari Samurai, I think. But yeah, we don't want the Yari Cavalry going after my Daimyos. It will be devastating. Also, I'm pretty sure you don't want to try and pull your Cavalry out in Shogun 2. I feel like this changes, like, I feel like every different, every separate Total War. Like, some Total Wars, it's fine to try and disengage your Cavalry and they get out with minimal casualties. Other Total Wars, which I'm pretty sure Shogun 2 is one of them, you never want to try and disengage once they're engaged because you'll, um... You'll, uh lose most of your units yeah generals are like paper in this so we want to use them for like probably flanking into archers maybe if that and then hunting down routing units that's about it general speech time おのずと運は開かれる。敵軍を地獄に送るじゃ。the models still hold up, you know. Something I didn't look at getting like a an HD texture pack for the units, but I still think they, they look pretty decent still. Like when it was going across the line here, this dude looked awesome. Love to cater in like red and black's pretty cool color scheme i love their color scheme just love all the, the little banners the mons on the the back of them all that's awesome okay right 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 well we want you guys probably i'm gonna send you guys straight into the trees to hide at the start i think and then try and flank on the the other side with the light cavalry let's have a look at you all before i end up killing you all most likely. Yeah, the cavalry with the with the balloons on the back, the horro, the arrow catch, they would inflate with air as they ran along and then arrows would hit them and the with them being inflated it would essentially like really neutralize the uh, kind of impact of the arrows and they just either just bounce off or slide off and would, uh, significantly reduce the uh, the damage being done. Okay, they are back over here. Yeah, you want to put the Yari Ashigari in Yari Wall because that is real strong. I'm thinking I want to try and use my Yari Samurai to deal with the, the enemy Cav. And then draw the rest of them down towards the Yari Ashigaru. Pop you guys up over here, see if you can hide. I 
Does elevation in this increase range for missile units? Or was Medieval 2 the last game where that, that was ever true? Okay, they're marching forward a little bit. Take my time. Just get these guys set up. So we probably want you guys in loose facing. I've got to find a way to draw that Yari cavalry out. For this, it makes what archers more accurate with uh, high elevation, you guys are saying. Uh, generals don't hide. Okay. Okay, in that case, we'll bring them down here then. No point having them up on the flank. I don't want them getting charged by the Yari Cav. Okay, they've got Inspire. That's quite good. That's why I probably want to pop to give them the edge in combat. And once they're pinned, slam in with my cavalry. Strike these guys from behind with the cavalry. Here we go. Boom. That's what I'm talking about. They've gone. That was two units of Yari Samurai they had. Charging from behind. How are you guys doing? You got charged by the cavalry, but you should be holding okay. Oh, it's not another unit of yours, sorry, it was just the tooltip was bugged. Losing my Yari Samurai. Cavalry have gone as the archers. Our men are running from the battlefield. Shameful display. But on Cav. Go. Give me Yari Wall. Nice. My lord, a glorious victory will soon be yours. Beautiful. Definitely continue. Amazing. Do these guys turn around to fight your general as they flee? Or am I safe now just to hunt them down with my cavalry?
Good, yeah, hunt them all down. I will definitely try to get some more zoom in to like follow my units, but like this first this first battle I felt was uh, pretty um, important for us to focus up on it. Considering as well, I did really poorly when I tested this out the other day. Wanted to make sure I got it right. No, oh, didn't mean to open that up. I just meant to hover over them. So accuracy is 27. Will that disappear then when I'm down lower on the ground? Should that change? Or is the height, is the elevation uh, a hidden stat bump for them? Stat changes aren't visible for elevation. Okay, fair. That's my unit that's routing over there. I mean, you held pretty well. You constantly were getting charged by... Uh, cavalry there you did you did well samurai this is the first total war i'm pretty sure that has the like this but this um kind of cinematic mode where if you press k it removes the ui boom victory hopefully the first of many yeah and didn't lose a general which is good we lost 259 Nice. Mission successful. <laughs> I feel like we should probably definitely push on in and hunt them down. Um, I'm assuming I can't just charge you with my light cav though. And definitely not with my general either. How good is the order resolving? Like, how much do I trust the order resolving this? I'm not sure I do. Do you, is this like Napoleon as well, where you only replenish if you've got a general in the army? Yeah. So they're not going to replenish right now unless they go home. Let's um, pull back then. Oh, I was hoping I could get him in there. They're still fine. Neutral public order. Well, I'm getting some more cavalry and Gamoria Yari Ashigaru. Get a load of them. Oh, yeah, the Proving Grounds. That's what I was wondering about, wasn't it? Proving Grounds requires encampments. Which requires heaven and earth. Is that one of these, then? Or have I already got it? Heaven and Earth. Oh no, that one. Wow, okay, so it takes a while to get them. So, Fire Cav will be a ways off. Stables will let me get... Katana Cav and Yari Cavalry. But they also need a Yari Drill Yard. Yeah, okay. Okay, let's go to Diplomacy. Already trading. Can trade. And we're allied to them, so let's see if we can get some trade then. This option is used Let me to listen to your offer and answer as best I may. Um, can we get some money out of you? Money can be offered to... Might be able to come to some agreement. Let's see what they... Oh, no. Okay. Fine. So, my friend, of what do you wish to talk? A trade route has been... There we go. Boom. Prematurely, only the slants will lower the dummies at honor. Nice. 20 cents remaining. Cool. And then who else have we got? Can trade with the Kiso. Aren't we meant to go to war with them at some point? But surely right now, the trade with everyone would be good. Although, maybe not trading with these guys because... They're at war with the Hojo, and that might upset the Hojo if we 
start doing stuff with their uh with their uh with their enemies they've got the tokugawa as the as their vassals okay uh war with the oda Uh, I mean, we did the overflow. It did say go to war with the Kiso, didn't it? In South Shinano. So maybe I don't want to trade with them just yet. Yeah, I guess we'll leave it at that for now then. Oh, was it only only alliances? You guys are saying. So what does trade do? Just breaks uh do we have diplomatic penalties for breaking trade early otherwise i'll go for these guys i might get wiped out by the odor yeah I, I seem to remember the reason why i didn't have their help against the hojo in the past is because they get wiped out yeah that's dip diplomacy penalty okay let's not risk it then All right end the first turn we're gonna end turn speeds Yaria Shigaru provide excellent defense against enemy cavalry charges, but their tight formations leave them vulnerable to missile troops and skilled infantry units. Oh, nice. When we ideal for riding down get little videos when we recruit units. Or driving off missile troops. Guess the first time I'm doing it, right? Light cavalry are vulnerable against well-trained infantry. Issue Masters of uh, Bad Jutsu. All samurai are trained in horsemanship and mounted combat, and although vulnerable to enemy spears, the speed and power of cavalry can be instrumental in turning the tide of battle. Our samurai cavalry is unrivaled, my lord. Furthering our understanding of form will allow us to maintain uh, this advantage. I must the following art form. And we'll get some Takeda bow cavalry. Oh, cool. Which is which is that? This tab gather details. This tab lists the clans whose territory neighbors your own, and the information about. Following art form. Ah, that one. There we go. Okay. Oh, the Great Guard. Gotta remember them. Oh, and then you got those like special units. Aren't they like really small units, but they're absolutely crazy elite? So getting down to four. That's a good suggestion to go down towards form. How many troops do we want for there before we face their castle? And we could recruit directly to them, like to the army, I guess. Let's recruit in here. Um, I feel like some more archers. I feel like I don't want to rush on out. I want to be well prepared to keep on pushing. I mean, I could go scout out with some cavalry, couldn't I? Is probably now going to get killed by that army. Okay, they don't have a blood. They've only got one unit in there. So probably after we get these next troops, we can push on in. Could push up to support them, but I don't want to get caught out. Uh, we're getting that built. We've got the trails already in, haven't we? We didn't upgrade that yet. Pastures, superior war horses, charge recruits. We just need more gold, don't we? We need to upgrade that to increase our building slot, right? Okay, right. Another tent. Am I going to get attacked? 
I'll be surprised if I don't. Yeah. The order Run. Reinforcements take to the battle. Ooh, nice. Ideal for whittling down the enemy before battle is perfect. Capture the following province. The mission issued. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we wanted to wait until we got that. Definitely. Plus 25% wealth generated from all farms. Nice. Men replenish your power turn. Five turns until it's fully. Five turns until the units fully replenished. 25. Damn. Pastures that gives more income there. Do you want to go for that? that? Unlocks additional construction slots or more replenishment rate. Does consume more food. Although that will balance things out once we have that done. Um recruitment capacity plus one. Yeah, let's get that going. Although I can't now get another unit out. So I guess it's time to go fight them. Great clan destroyed. The Tokugawa. Just like that. Let's head towards them. Got that one. Plus one to clan wide happiness. Upkeep cost. I feel like that wouldn't be terrible. Do we need the happiness right now? We're doing okay. I forget about how... Um, Oh, you've got this winter attrition, isn't there? Yeah, I forgot that. I might have to pull back then. Damn. I'm trying to remember with the... Un what, what public order level does it go until there's rebellion? Is it anything that's not positive? It feels so different, like, coming back to this now. You guys be nice and strong down here, please. Keep checking on the Hojo. Plus 43... Trade agreements helping. Well, they're allied with the Hojo as well. That's good. Yeah, I don't want to trade with you guys just yet. It has to be minus two for two turn. A minus one for more than one turn is rebels. Okay, so it's just what's the what's the maximum negative public order you can go to? It doesn't really matter. You just got to get it back up to being neutral or positive again, right? I guess. Um. How about happens is fine. I am thinking... I mean, I definitely, definitely want to go and grab this to get free units. But also, let's go for upkeep cost reduction right now. A little, little bit of reduction for more units coming out. Winter attrition happens at the end turn. Okay. So if I can take North Shinano, it should be okay. But we've got to siege them, and I remember sieges being pretty tough because you've got to scale walls. I'm going to play it safe because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Need more troops. Right, let's get more Yari Ashigaru. Safe heart X10 for now. Kind of tempted to pop the Yari Samurai back in here to replenish on up for a while. I can also burn down the gates, yeah. I feel like you need overwhelming numbers, though, to take a settlement, right? Yeah, I'm going to pop you in there to keep you safe. How do we go into ambush? Ah, uh, here. Yeah, let's see if we can catch them in ambush as they come through. I don't know if they will. They probably won't move during winter, though, will they? Winter campaigning. Right, spring now. Let's go for... Yeah. 
Uh, no, go for more archers and more of them to leave behind. Do you need to leave a unit behind in the settlement to uh, stop it being taken? Or if there, if it shows as a garrison pip, will you automatically uh, have to fight for it? Yeah, we'll march on them this next turn. Okay. Right, now that one's done, I think for now, I am going to try to go down towards form. Get that done so we get the free bow cav. Great clan destroyed. The odor. Oh, wow. That means you guys are safe for a while. You have no enemies now. Nice. Oh, it's because you guys have swept in there and taken them out. That's why. I feel like I need to get a wiggle on. Why can't I see what you guys have claimed over there? Is that because we've only got vision over your current gains or depending on trade oh, we can get something in here as well yari drill yard yari samurai oh uh, the yeah the arch dude bow samurai they're really good the yari samurai probably don't need to worry about getting right because of the yari wall markets are good for wealth and then we can get the agent but if we get the yari drill yard and upgrade my stables and I can get Yari Cavalry, can't I? So that's why I'm thinking. Let's get that in there for, and then upgrade the stables. Here we go. So what's the reinforcement range of that? Oh, where's their army gone? No idea, but let's see if we can set up an ambush here. And hopefully we draw them in. Because they're going to go after these guys and we catch them in ambush. Looks like they've got a pretty capable force as well. Yeah, I should say, if we end up losing this campaign, we will, we will restart it uh, and keep going within the playlist. Um, hoping we don't, though. Here they come. Yes! Got the ambush. Oh, you got some Yari Samurai in there now as well. Damn, dude. That's their Daimyo. <coughs> Can Daimyo on Daimyo action go pretty well? We do outnumber them. I'm worried about all that Yari Samurai, but into Yari Wall, we should be fine. Cavalry... We have to try and pin their Yari Cav against our spears, and then you, I can use my light cavalry to go chase down the daimyo. Right. In we go. Try and... Well, do, do I want to swarm them, or do I, I want them to charge my Yari line, really? Don't I? It's raining. Careful where you're swinging your arms up with your katanas. Kokuga の誇りのかけらもないやつらだ。野心生まれで蔑まれながら死ぬ。奴らの腐った屍は恥というなの感受けで葬られる。合戦が果てる頃には濡れネズミで皆寒さに打ち震えることじゃろう。されど我が国は
Our forces can be split between each side of the road to attack the enemy whilst they are in marching order. Although an effective approach, this is not always the best option to take in every situation. The enemy army will not have the opportunity to move their units in any way, so deploy carefully to cause maximum confusion and disorder. Yeah. If I had more units, I'd potentially go for having like these guys at the end and then units on the flanks, but I think I'm going to go for you guys here with Yari Wall protecting you. Hopefully we can draw to that. I'm just wondering about the additional units. Do I want them hidden on a flank or do I want them supporting here? So I could try and hide them here and then pull them around when we need them and then just use my cavalry hidden like in the trees here to swoop on out. I'll have to have my daimyo back here. Try and bait them in here. Swing on out with these guys and swing in with the cavalry, I think. Here we go. I'm going to go straight for my cavalry. Like they know it's here somehow. Or are they just fleeing to high ground? What are you doing? You seem to be running with purpose. Yeah, they're going to go up here and take the high ground. I'm going to try and take out your archers then. That was big, that was big, that was big. And before the spears get in, run. Just about disengage from them there. Not too many losses. Oh, I wish I'd left click and drag here. The review panel contains the unit or ship cards representing your force. Clicking on a card selects a unit or ship. Double clicking on it, zoom the camera directly to you. Beautiful. Get them running before those spears get in there. Nice. If we can pick off the uh, arch, that'd be great. Yeah, it was poor, poor ambush, really. Yeah, they've gone for the high ground. Thought they might. They know to prioritize the... Uh, the high ground. Yeah, chill, General, chill. Yeah, they need to, to try and rush to prioritize the high ground in this. There is Shigaru. Pin him. Get him. Yeah, thanks for splitting your force. This gives you plenty of time to work on what I want to do. Or oh, they're bringing their cavalry. Oh, crap. Quick. Tuck you guys in here. This feels really fast and frantic, this whole, like, battle. Oh, they're going for my daimyo. Light cav, you're going to have to go in. Slow him down. My light cav's taking the penalty here, but we had to save my, my daimyo.
Hold. But well, they're coming down because they realize they made a big boo-boo by hiding away while the rest of their forces get wrecked. Yeah, cavalry's gone. Yori Ashigaru getting stuck in, though. Nice. Nice. Shattered. Hunt them down, Cav. So what have we got coming? Yari Samurai. Yari Samurai. Yari Samurai. So I have to pin them and then flank them. Oh, they're coming back. Give them a volley, archers. I think it's Shogun 2 that is actually the first total war that actually has animated bowstrings where they you can actually see them being pulled back and then set up, which is pretty cool. Gary Wall. Spreading out across the line. Okay, you've broken them. Good. Get around here and flank them. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I never got into Shogun 2 when it came out. I think it was just the, the setting wasn't one that I was particularly interested about. But now... I'm far more interested in like Japanese history and samurai and everything else. And I'm now like, yeah, this is freaking awesome. We'll just be a Shogun 2 channel now. Am I about to lose my brother? Let's hope not. Let's hope we don't use them, lose my daimyo. Munch him. Yeah, they've gone. Boom. Nice. That was dangerous. Is there Daniel? Is he dead? Is he still alive? Continue. Hunt them all down. Munch, 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 munch. Shogun doesn't have a bit of shades, that's true. But, um, yeah. And yeah, now I look at this and go like, why the heck didn't I play more of this when it came out? Younger Lionheart was foolish Lionheart. I have been converted to Shogun 2 is Bay Heart X10. Like I also I also have not felt like this tense playing a Total War game for ages. Normally I only feel this tense when I'm playing like Medieval 2 or like Third Age because I feel like the game those older games are really unforgiving if you make a mistake. 
or play too passively for too long. And like this, I'm just every turn is like, I'm just with like with playing with bated breath. I love when Spy gives uh, the is giving them reload accuracy. Why, they, why has he got reload accuracy? He's not a missile troop, right? Oh, yeah. So it's the, I was thinking it must be the Inspire, but it didn't show up immediately. Inspire just gives you that even if you're not a, uh, a missile unit. It's kind of a flat improvement. Not wishing to do any spoilers, but have I hit RD, Realm Divide? No. No, we've literally just started the campaign today, so we're only like a few turns in. So we're, uh, we're, when does Realm Divide normally hit? It doesn't have a set turn trigger, does it? Because it's down to your influence, right? And Or whether or not you attack the Shogun. Oh, so no, oh yeah, yeah, I, I've played Shogun 2 before. I just haven't uh, played it for like 10 plus years. So I'm very rusty. But a full Shogun 2 combat. I mean, I've been wanting to do this campaign for like nearly a year now. And even more so in recent months. It's just glorious being back playing it. <coughs> when you've approxed half the map. Okay. But it's based on how big you hit. Yeah, so the number of territories that you hit within that space. Okay. Ooh. First cavalry casualty. Rip. You've, you did well. You saved the daimyos from being charged by uh, Yari Gav though. So GG, guys. Oh, nice. Leveled up, gained a star. Oh yeah, European trade is the Portuguese, isn't it? General increases in rank. Yeah, this is, this is glorious. So we can hire a retainer. We can get a master drummer or a, a secretary. Plus two happiness in provinces where this man is present. Uh, plus 20% to the effectiveness of the rally ability. Uh, I'll let Twitch chat decide. Master Drummer or Secretory. Thanks, Twitch chat, for voting for Secretory. Uh, plus two happiness and promise with man is present. Lovely. It's my retainer. This is the character skill, skill tree. tree. Okay. I always used to go for Strategist, I think. First of all, but plus 10% to campaign at movement range for all units on this man's uh, command. Or Warrior, plus one melee defense to the general and his bodyguard. Yeah, yeah, movement range. Always movement range. It's like, that's the one thing that's been consistent that follows all the way through with my strategy, all the way through to like Warhammer 3. Always more movement range. Let me look at all these again. Legendary warrior. Increased general's bodyguard size. Yeah, isn't there one where... Um, is it... Oh, living, living treasure plus five happiness. That's quite cool. Wasn't there like, isn't there a stand and fight? Am I thinking of something somewhere? Which makes, oh, night battles. Ah, that could be useful. Stealthy. Isn't there infantry? Oh, stand and fight. Yeah. So they dismount and they, isn't it? They form like a, a square stand and fight. That's pretty good. What does, what does command like do? Is that just your your success in auto-resolve. I'm bloodthirsty. And lucky. Nice. Command is the nearby morale of units. Okay, cool. Right. Start sieging. Leave that force because surely they should disappear. Uh, they've just got samurai retainers. Um, continue the siege. So I'm just going to bring these guys back to link on in. The Tomo. The Tomo. Those are the matchlock ones, right? They've gotten squish. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking we can just order resolve this. Oh, this is the one as well where you see the the numbers actually drop down as it goes through.
Yeah, so you see it drop. I kind of wish they brought that back, actually. That'd be nice. GG. How do we rate the order resolve for Shogun 2 overall? Like, reliable or not really? Right, so you can loot, but it... Re so, yeah, like, looting's really tough in this unless you want to just play super dishonorable with your daimyo. Uh, we can make a vassal, but no, we're going to peacefully occupy. Mission successful. Inspired endeavors. Nice. And they, do they start attritioning. They just, they just turn into rebels, do they? One thing I love about these old tech wars, I've noticed it in my uh, Napoleon campaign as well. Um, I love that you don't lose all your movement range remaining when you take a settlement in newer total wars. Taking a settlement kills all the remaining movement range that your army might have had. Whereas in these older titles, it doesn't, which is really nice. Trying to counter Segi. You have a nook cheat. Um, let's see, who be friendly? You are unfriendly. But I've got, to, I've got to be careful as to who you are. Right, yeah, allied with Eco Iki. They're really strong, aren't they, Eco Iki? Segi indifferent. Ambitious. They've got a bare few allies as well as well. Well, the suggestion after taking that was to go after South Shinanto and go after Kisho. Because that would bring me alongside the Imagawa who I'm allied with. So that seems like that would be a, a reasonable move. And then that still keeps me open to deal with the Hojo if they decide to war with me. Or if I decide to turn on them. But if I do that, that possibly brings the Imagawa in. And we don't want that. Um, yeah, let me throw in some Boashigari to defend. Back here. Prepare that as well. They've got a Yari drill yard here already. Which, I don't know, I might torch that and build something else instead. Because we can have our cavalry coming up from here and that we don't need that here. Let's get rid of that. Improved irrigation, more food. We've got roads there already. That's good. Um, so yeah, who are these guys next to me? This lot, but yeah, they're, they're allied with the eco Iki, so I don't want to upset them. Segi, I don't want to be at war with you anytime soon, so I'm going to see if I can get trade. Well, I will Be listen to your words you, for a time. Do not waste this chance I give to you. Yeah, I might go after you after a little while. I guess we'll probably be going after these guys, right? Okay, we can go after you. You're, oh, you're a vassal of you, Segi. Mmm, nuts. What about you going after you guys? I guess I could do that, couldn't I? I could go and take them out there and then encircle the Hojo. That could potentially work. Yeah, Kai's looking good. Put all those bits in there. Slowly replenish. Actually, won't you replenish slightly faster when we've got the Yari Drill Yard in there in a turn? We want to save our money to expand that. So yeah, I think we'll go for Kisho, see what happens, and then go this way, I guess. That's our border over here. We can now see them coming. They've got a large army. I expect them to probably attack us soon. Right. Let's end the turn. Please just leave me alone for a while, though, Segi. Making a trade agreement with another clan automatically. Art mastered good yeah we're trying to complete our mission that we've got that gives us decay bow cavalry for free so i feel like that's pretty solid um yeah, we've got some reinforcements in there i really want to upgrade that but i need a little bit more gold i could go for something else but i wonder if i could go through diplomacy and ask someone for something 
So from here we can see who's there starting to dislike us. Then that's the Eco Eki. What's they're the they're their, they're their own unique rebel uh religion rebel fanatics, aren't they? So what are they gonna do? I mean, I should try and get trade with these guys, seeing as I've already got trade with you, Segi, right? I am here Can I listen. get a little bit of money from you? In honesty, I will give a proper response. No. Okay, well, I'll get trade with you for now. Because well. surely that makes your overlords and masters, you, Segi, like me a little bit more. An enemy of my enemy is my friend. We don't have any shared enemies. Bit confused, but okay. You guys like me. You guys kind of like me. You guys are going like, who are you all now? Hit a bate. Okay. Oh, it was the ones I just killed that were friends with, uh, that the Usagi didn't like either. Cool. It is winter, isn't it? I, I won't take a tradition in my own province. Um, feel like... I'm going to take everyone out of here so far. Why can't I attack them? They are they like bugged out? Yeah, they've bugged. Can't actually attack them. Okay, fine. I guess they'll live there for a while. Uh yeah, I need to declare war on these guys on the key show. Maybe you don't have a full stack army because I declare war. Oh wait, no, it's winter, isn't it? Am I going to ambush? Yeah. So what we're doing, we declare war. And see if they come towards me. Sometimes travelers meet and profit by I declare war. Shall we see what um, I'm going to say no to bring my allies in because I don't want the Imagawa moving in and taking the territory before I get there. Although I think they'd have to go up around the mountains, but still. Okay. Um... Right, Castle Town, we should build something here. Ooh, sword score for katanas. Yeah, I mean, like, they're, they're really solid infantry, aren't they? Or the archery dojo. Or the market. I mean, I'm not going to be able to fault all these troops forever, am I? Market, more income's probably a good thing. Although we've got the Yari stuff early on. So, each market chain building enables you to sustain one additional Mitsuke to an, a maximum of five. Wouldn't mind getting a ninja so I could scout stuff out a little bit as well. But uh, let's let's go for the market to start with. That'll be enough money that I can then upgrade the pasture, the that the stables, the warhorse stables next time as well. Um, and I could probably recruit some more units. Let's recruit some Boashigaru here. That'll be enough. Right, one more in turn. And then I think we'll wrap up this first episode. Oh, that's a big scary one. Please don't declare war on me. Oh, okay, no, it's the... It's these guys. Nice, the Ikoiki did not join. Say your farewell. You're going to go hit my capital. Of course you are. That's fine. I'm going to take the order resolve because that looks doable. Thank you. Bye, rebels. 
Now, I guess the question is, we've started this war with the Kisho. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Threat of attack, the Usagi. Disturbing news our sources with this once friendly clan warn us that Daimyo, intent on exploiting our current situation, is now plotting to invade us. Oh, I'm glad we get a warning. That's nice. Mounting unrest. Oh, yeah. Exempt them from taxes. Damn, that's a huge hit to our income. Three front war. Right, well, we need to finish things quickly, don't we? They're going to come in that way. I mean, maybe they take it and we bounce back up and claim it from them. Did we not get that unit because it got damaged? Great. And I don't know. Oh, nuts. If I... Oh, I don't have enough money. Because the freaking market. Nuts. Well, I'm glad the Eko Iki did not join. But, damn. Hojo, you better not be planning anything. They're allied with the Kiso, so yeah, they probably... Yeah. Who killed me last time in my original campaign? I think it was like three or four armies of different factions. Oh, crap. That's a large stack. Don't want to have to face them in their castle. And then if the Usegi come on in with that large army. Oh, crap, Ola. Um, will that really help me at this stage? Not really. I mean, let me get Yari Cav, which will be useful. We exempted them. We're going to have a rebellion anyway, right? But I don't want to get it that to get that bad. Yeah. I think I've probably got to recruit some more units to send up to support them, right? So, yeah, we might as well let that repair. And then we'll try and get the stables upgraded next time. I was saying, like, oh, we're going to end that episode, but I just want to see where things go now. It's too tense. Oh, no. But you say you declare war. Here we go. <gasps> but none of their allies joined? Oh, cock. That's not good. Oh, that's not good either. Yeah, we're losing that. We're losing that, boys. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, it was such the bad timing to go after the Kiso. Mistakes have been made. Yeah, please come to my aid, guys. Good, good. Yeah, send armies. This province is becoming poor. Army crushed. Yeah. Trade agreement broken. War further. Right, well, I, I can't press on to the attack here. Really, I've got to move back up here and strike that army, I think. I've got to reclaim North Shinano and then hope that we can fortify it enough against the Usegi. <coughs> It's all coming back. I'm having flashbacks, yeah. Maybe a decade of victory is never meant to be. Right. I think we will open then next time with this. Uh, my reinforcements aren't close enough to come on in. Okay. But we've got to fight anyway. That's why I've not played it for 10 years. Permanently scarred from the last time. Yeah, pretty much. Boy. This is, this is going to be tough. Well, hopefully Yari Wall, my Yari Wall beat their Yari Wall. 
what limited cav I have, I'm going to have to use to knock down their, their Boashigaru. I'm going to have to use my generals to chase down their Boashigaru as well. Well, we will open with this battle at the start of the next episode. For those watching on YouTube, I hope you've enjoyed. Take care and ciao for now.